Praise to a higher, my shimmy shy, my shia could be magnified in my body. Yeah. This day and age, I'm going through things. Back in the day, I had two chains. Mind bog, where the squad, I got God. Time's hard, suffer for Christ, my Lord. They blind to see what they'll perceive, he refining me. I might be hated, but these trials prove I ain't played it. I said they fake, they fake it, man, it's so blatant. Preach deliverance to the captains on your shot and save them. I see they vexed, they stress, face, ain't no sweat. But the eyes show the pain, cause they heart love, they won't let. But the true abiders, true riders, stay true to the Bible. So I give your life over the things that you ain't allowed to do. Your faith demand the quicksand, your house built in. Foundation of rock, cause with this, we get one shot. Red dot, see the spot, gon' give it all I got. Stay shielded, cause I'm yielded, plus I'm still forgiven. All just the same as I want to be forgiven. Do that, rewards gon' stack like you knew that. And we in the kingdom stacking in the earth, cause we packing the word. Alright. Shalom, everybody. It's your boy Akara Batak, chilling here with Tamar. Let's get it. You know what I'm talking about? Um. Just a servant of the most high, feel me, you know. Just out here, you know, doing what he moved me and ordained for me to do. And um, just a humble servant, you know. Just want to fulfill all that which I'm here to fulfill, all that which he put me on this earth to to do and feel, you know, other than that, you know, just every day, you know, brother brother in the in the truth, you know what I'm talking about. But um, you know, believe strong and firmly and preaching the gospel, you know what I'm saying? And um Let's get it. <laughs> All right. What that mean in Hebrew family is I shall proclaim boldly. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a struggle figuring out what my name was gonna be. Ain't know what I was, you know, gonna, you know, it had to be something powerful, but it came to me through the spirit of the most high feeling. One day me and my youngest brother Yakar, um, he had stayed over the night and um, that morning he we got up and he said, Man, we supposed to feel like we supposed to hit the street. And I was like, bro, I was feeling the same way. This is the first time we ever had been out ministering, like preaching the word, you know, and I didn't know what my Hebrew name was going to be, you feel me, and um, really, it really went on my mind at the time, but we went out there and we preached, and um, it was so powerful, so spiritual, you know what I'm saying, um, people were reached, you know what I'm saying, and they, they came up and they talked to us, you know, and that's when I realized that the Most High blessed me with a gift, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, even he had, he had noticed, he was like, man, you know, you know, it was just it was just a blessing, you know, and um, through that when we reflected on it, we got back home, you know, it, it just came to me. I seen Korah, I was looking up in the um, Hebrew and the Strongs, mm -hmm. and it meant to proclaim, mm -hmm. and the I in the beginning, that's the uh, first person in perfect forms, because it's a continual thing I shall be doing continually, mm -hmm. you know, so that's what that means, you know, ah, Korah, I shall proclaim, and mm -hmm. Batak means boldly. So that's what I do. That's what the Most High done ordained me to do, you know, and um, got my Hebrew name, and that's what it means. Amen. Shalom. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, shoot, it's been a while. Um, I think it was uh, 20, since 2008, I had said in my mind, you know, that I was going to, um, you know, give my life to God, you know. I didn't do it immediately, you feel me? Prior to that, you know, we you know, we weren't raised up like in church, feel me? We might have went a handful of times in our life. That's something I, you know, our mom machine make us do. Which I'm glad, you know, so we didn't get too caught up in religion, feel me? But um, you know, 2008 I had a you know an experience that that shocked me, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know out here in the world acting a fool you know drinking smoking doing all that but in the peak of that you know it was a experience i had where um we my cousins my brother my brother polo co we was in there you know at, you know acting up and it's wild but i recorded it you feel me <laughs> but i actually was like telling them having a conversation with this guy through the tv you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it sounded crazy but they didn't understand my, my my cousin Rio didn't understand at the time, so I, I put out the camera recorder and we had watched it the next day. You feel me? Wow. And it was happening. And um, it was a preacher, but he was talking crazy. I can't remember what his name was, but whatever I said, he responded. Wow. And when I got pissed off, he got pissed off. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And this was something you wouldn't even think actually happened, but we had it recorded. You feel me? And I had sent it to my family members, you know, we won't trip him. But anyway, it, it had bothered me so much that day that he was teaching lies. I could see it even in the midst of seeing at the mm. peak of it, you know, high as a kite, you understand? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, 
that 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 bothered me so much that he had you know i knew he was lying to the people right mm -hmm. so i had um you know i just said i did that. i said tomorrow i'm giving me a bible you know and I, I ain't do it <laughs> i ain't do it you feel me so from 2008 on life started to change things started being taken away from me um i mean i i made i made the money i mean i had everything that i wanted the time and the things that i was working towards i was achieving all my goals was being accomplished so you know in the world you mm -hmm. feel me um, i was on my way to make that million mm -hmm. you know and um and i had the ambition to try to do it you know but all these things financial stuff started being stripped from me mm -hmm. you know and uh, i ain't know what was going on it broke me down to the point where either i was either about to curse god or i was about to submit to him mm -hmm. it was just that that's that was the decision the day as this went on and i believe this was in um I don't know. It might. It was. It was definitely after 2008, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I started reflecting on things. But it got so bad, and it was so obvious that it was like divine intervention. It it, it kind of pissed me off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I said, "Oh, hold up," because I did everything in my power to prevent um, messing up my money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had different avenues. You know what I'm saying? So I did everything I could to make sure every avenue was straight, and then everyone on got cut off. And um, you know, I'm talking about legal stuff. You know, I had businesses. <laughs> just let everybody right, right. know. Feel me. But I was just, you know, I had multiple businesses yeah. working and grinding, and mo I had a bunch of people helping me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But one at a time, everything just got, got brought to nothing. Um, and then it got to the point I knew it was God because what I had in my hands, I said, I know I'm gonna make what I need to make with what I have here, yeah. and that was stripped right out of my hand, right before my eyes. Um, no matter how much effort sleep I lost trying to make sure I made the money mm -hmm. I ain't make it and what I had was being taken away so it got to a point where it was obviously God and I was just like yo and in, in my mind it was just like I didn't have any me to curse God but that was a decision that day that's where I was at like either you 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 submitting or you finna give this up you that's feel right. me and, and or you finna rebel you know what I'm saying and it was you know I won't I won't rebel so I yielded I ain't know what to do though, mm. you know, so um, I was seeking truth, you know, I was looking up stuff online, I was looking to the Illuminati stuff, <laughs> oh, all that, yeah. a lot of brothers came in that way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. looking up the Illuminati <laughs> stuff, okay, they yeah. lying, these rappers <laughs> acting a fool out here dealing with this this, this, this Illuminati stuff, this, this masonry and all that, and um, through time, you know, through time, you know, I end up, uh, Looking at more and more uh, GOCC videos, Gathering mm -hmm. Christ Church. A mm -hmm. shout out to them. Yep. I appreciate the most high for the elders of GOCC. Yeah. Um, and all they did, and they yeah. still here, still yeah, doing right. what they here to do. Yeah. Um, the ones that's hanging in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. feel me? You know, I start, you know, looking at their videos. I start downloading, sharing it with my family, and um, we start following the teachers. Mm -hmm. And um, do that. Brother out there, Gamar and Charlotte, what's good, family? <laughs> Baptized me, my wife, um, my brother Polo Cole, mm -hmm. my youngest brother Brent, all on the same day. Mm -hmm. Feel me? It was love and it was trials, but you know, it was a short progressive, it was a progressive thing to the truth. It ain't like I just jumped in it overnight. Mm -hmm. um, I was pulled into it, I was drawn to it, and, and my life changed ever since, and I've just been involved since in truth. Um, you know, so, you know, long story short, you know, that's pretty much a, a brief little breakdown. Um. All right, um, so, I uh, take more asked me about Team Full Fledge or TFL. Mm -hmm. I know y'all see me had that on um, a couple of shirts on the videos mm -hmm. I done put up. Me and Polo Coben, you know, we were slapping up TFL here now. <laughs> Let y'all in on the secret now. <laughs> You no, know, you know, <clears throat> he just hit us in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? One day, you know, we were building me and Polo Co and we was like, you know, we always been wanting a team, a unit, just to build with, work mm -hmm. with, and focus our efforts on, you know what I'm saying? Genuine brethren or whatnot. So that's what Team Full Flair is about, really. I haven't um, started promoting it like that or nothing like that because really I just know the team going to be pulled together through the spirit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of holiness, you know. Um, you know, I'm just laboring, doing what I need to do to um, combat the leaven and the false, the false doctrines or whatever come up. The most I put the spirit on me to address, 
so that the brothers who really are about unity, the brothers who mm -hmm. really want to build, the brothers who really need help, want help, that's what Team Full, Full Play is going to be all about, feel me? From um, the music, music, um, videos, the whole nine, just a team of brothers who go, who, who willing to give they all to fulfill their purpose, not only that, but to help their brethren fulfill that. So mm -hmm. it's complete unselfishness, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like nobody about, you know, no, no time to be chasing fame, glory, riches or any of that. Um, feel me, but those who just driven to fulfill purpose, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what that's what that's about, you know what I'm saying? And it team full fledged. I mean, you going in, you going hard, you gonna give it your all. Mm -hmm. You know, like a, a a bird in a nest. Feel me? When when it's time to jump about yeah. that nest, or oh, mama knock it up out that nest. You feel right. me? If it don't give it his all, it might be a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it hit that ground, yeah. so that's how it is. We jumping out here, feel yeah. me? And we giving it our all, feel me? We gonna fly. We ain't just gonna fly, we gonna fly together, you know what I'm saying? Amen. In formation, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and we gonna get it done and we gonna get where we gonna Amen. get. You know? But it takes somebody to step out, put themselves on the line. Amen. And that's what that's what I'm doing. So I put myself out there, you know. I done got my feelings hurt plenty of time. I mm. thought plenty of brothers were genuine. Plenty of brothers were genuine brothers and they won't. And a lot of us close off and close up and we don't wanna get hurt. So mm. you know, I done been there, I done felt the ample multiple times. So now, you know, um just mood in the spirit is just you know, do the work. And shout out to Spider the Chief, feel me? Because I had a conversation with him one day. And um, I had talked to him a couple times. I talked at the Passover when we was out there, mm -hmm. um, when GLC was celebrating in Virginia. Yeah. And Spider was like, uh, you know, he said, you know what, uh, this was after, you know, we built afterwards. He was like, man, you need to do, you need to do some videos, bro. Mm. <laughs> Spider said, man, you be saying some real stuff, hey, man. Damn. People need to hear that, yeah. you know? And I was like, word? I ain't never heard, no, nobody had never really told me that, like in an encouraging way like that, feel yeah. me? So to, to come from him, and he said, yo, bro, you got the camera, you got all this stuff, you know, you got everything, just do it. You don't even think just go, just do it, yeah. just talk. Yeah. <laughs> so appreciate, I appreciate Spider-Man, you feel me? That's an encouraging yeah. brother, man. And, and that's what really got it kicking off. Mm. I felt in my spirit I was supposed to have been done it. I tried it mm. years ago, it won't time. And them videos got deleted, they was horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know off the gate. <laughs> you know, so it's all in the most high time and feel me. So yeah. um everything I do and touch on now, um, I just I make myself available to be used when the most high when something need to be addressed or something. It just always hit me in the spirit, yo, I gotta do this or I gotta prove this. Yeah. This ain't the case. Like, you know, that's what really one of the things that motivate me when I see things that's that's contrary or awful, I see the brethren um going off or going astray that really move me in the spirit. Yeah to really get it right, you know what I'm saying? Right. I can't force them, but I can put the word out there. So the brethren are serious about the word, you know what I'm saying, they'll get it right. So the mm -hmm. whole team, team full fledged joint, you know, part of it is just, you know, Natty Tate, my mention that she connected some dots for me just now, you feel me? It all play a major role in those who gonna be part of that team. Mm -hmm. Those who can, who can see the things that I'm sharing, you know, and see why I'm sharing it and see the truth in it and why it's important, why it's needed. We gonna be able to build and truly come together in unity mm. until we deal and deal with and address these things and Amen. represent Christ truly. Amen. You know, so shout out to Spider on that. And um, mm. the, you know, it started. You know, I was sharing scriptures and stuff way before I started putting the videos on YouTube. Mm. I mean, yeah, videos on YouTube. I was putting on scriptures for years. You feel mm. me? I went on Facebook. I got off Facebook. Closed, you know, closed <laughs> my account. Did the whole nine couple years went through, went by. Mm. Um, I had um, stepped away from the, the, the church gathering out here, you know, for, for growth for my family. It was a lot going on that I ain't really want my family involved with. You know, I didn't want them to see the inconsistency or none of that. I didn't want to give them no excuses to, uh, you know, to go back in the world, you understand, yeah. doing worldly things. Because when you get around the congregation of the righteous, then, you know, um, that's be encouraging others into righteousness, not the opposite. So yeah. we pulled away and stepped away and ever since then. You know, I just most I've been revealing things to me. It's been it's been hard. You know what I'm saying? We miss the gathering. We miss the fellowship. Miss the children playing with each other. We miss that real talk. Anybody who act like it's glorious mm. outside of that, that's a lot. You know, unless you you know you got yeah. a, a a fellowship, a bill. You know, so we miss all them things. You know, we just wanted to be in, in, in truth and righteousness when we entered again. Yeah. And um, but you know, I was I've been putting up video. I mean, I got back on Facebook. Akaraba talk check me out a h q a r a space b a t a c h 
And um, just up there, I've been sharing scriptures for a time, and everything I shared is always just inspired on some old. I need to share this, you know, not no. Nothing vain, that's all I can say. I just move with the spirit. If I start seeing people talk about certain things, and I said, man, this is going to get a lot of people caught up. You feel right, me? It's going right, to be a problem. Right. Then the spirit hit me. This precepts start coming. And um, I don't sit here like I know a bunch of precepts off top. That's not the case. You feel me? But I read. When I read, what stick with me, stick with me. And when it's time, it all come together. Mm -hmm. And then it's just my job to get it out. That's right. So that's what I've been doing. And that's what I'm doing now with the videos. And, um... You know, most how will be done, you know, and I thank Spider for the encouragement on that. And I appreciate all y'all who like and share as well, you know, share the videos and y'all who like it. That mean a lot. You feel me? I don't do it for likes, but it's encouraging because this work ain't easy. You know, I don't want to try to force nothing and it be me. You understand? It don't need to be me. So, you know, I deny myself and I yield and let the Lord use me, you know, manifest the fruits, you know, um, of the spirit. Cause I don't want to see me in it. You're like I don't want to. I want to be like, man, I, I was doing this, so I ain't about that at all. It's just yeah. about truth, feel me. Yeah. And I'm just praying that as they continue to come out, and as most I continue to move me to uh, bring more clarity and understanding that He blessed me with, I'm just praying that the chairs get out the way. Mm. That's what I want. Chairs get out the way. Yeah. Let true brothers and true sisters do what they do. Y'all get out the way. If y'all ain't truly about Christ, mm -hmm. love and unity, and, and willing to be with your brethren. Despite doctrinal differences, right. especially the 11, um, a lot of y'all don't want to let the 11 go. That's right. But the 11 ain't doing you no good, so mm -hmm. that's what time is. It's time to get it right and um, love your brother, not just talk neither. Mm -hmm. Talking about manifesting that through deeds, you know, forgiveness, compassion, and, and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. All right, um, to all the brothers and sisters, uh, out here who, who considering leaving a camp um which i know that's a lot of y'all feel me mm -hmm. um i stepped away from you know what what was going on or whatnot for the reasons i did all i can say <clears throat> from doing that and, and and been had stepped stepped away for all these years now um i've seen a lot you know mm -hmm. you know i've seen a lot of people step out onto straight false doctrine until you know going out of the new testament to mm. getting out of the bible all together feel me? Mm. um be honest a lot of y'all want to step out because you feel <clears throat> it's something else for you to do out there and it, and it might be you know but if the camp you with or church whatever whatever it be if the leader is is you believe spiritually inspired and if they teach him be gospel I would say focus on just the gospel and growth. Um, if they teaching baptism, you know what I'm saying? If they not preaching against the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. these are good things. It don't mean they perfect men. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody out here perfect, right. straight up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you do step out, just you want to make sure it's the most high calling you out mm -hmm. and not you calling yourself out. And when I say that, it's important the fellowship and the build. You know what I'm saying? You know, I had, you know, my brothers, you know, Polo, Ko, and Yupa, my wife, you know what I'm saying? So I had some people around me, you know, to help me through that. And, um, but the thing is, you know, they, they would still go with what I say a lot of the time. You know, if I was off, you know, my wife would let me know. <laughs> but um, a lot of the frustration and that I felt, you know, was through a lot of things that had happened. But if, if, if they're teaching sound doctrine, which, which I don't believe a lot, none of these accounts gonna truly teach full, complete sound doctrine right. until they put their efforts together mm. and make it sound. So I just call mm. all the elders to do that for the sake of the sheep because Man. all of y'all finna lose these sheep y'all eating off of. Y'all gonna lose them, you know, because it's finna be that mass falling away. Mm. And a lot of y'all play a major role in it by offending them, mistreating them, and abusing them mm. in many ways, shapes, and forms. It ain't got to be physical, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, Y'all make sure that y'all, you know, make sure the most high calling you out the situation, feel me? Because if it's not, it's a lot you can fall into. Majority of the brothers and sisters I see who leave leave a camp or a church, I seen better fruit from them when they was with them. Simple as that. You know, um, those who truly about Christ, if they leave, 
they leaving grudges. You understand? Mm. They leaving resentment. They leaving all of that carnal stuff. You know what I'm saying? And continuing on doing the work of the Most High. Because if you fear is something you're supposed to do, then if you step away and leave, you should continue even more focused in whatever that is. Um, you know, and, and to some, I mean, it's, it's your calling to step out. Mm. You know, I'm just praying that the elders and leaders start seeing the calling on y'all lives, but a lot of them, they blinded by carnality, you know, riches, glory, fame, a lot of that has blinded them. Mm. A lot of y'all big up in them when they in the yeah. peak of their era, you know, y'all gotta come together and reprove these men as the scriptures say do it. The elders are supposed to be in fear. They don't supposed to be cocky and dominating you, yeah. manipulating you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all of that go right back into witchcraft, you know, sorcery. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't feel intimidated. They shouldn't intimidate you. Y'all should be able to come together two or three and address issues and they be resolved, mm -hmm. you know, and um, that's the power y'all have. So use that power, you know, not to, <clears throat> not to cause discord in another monthly body, mm -hmm. but a lot of people getting offended. People ain't leaving, a lot of these people ain't leaving for no reason. Mm -hmm. You know, so people get hurt. Mm -hmm. um, and. And to be real, a lot of us men, we ain't have our, no father figure coming up. Our dad one in our lives, you know what I'm saying? So the elders become like that to us, mm. like a dad. So when they cross us, you understand? Yeah. When they cross us and you already been through that, where your daddy won't deal, whatever the case be, and you're looking up to this man and you have so much expectations of him when you realize he's just a man, mm. which he is, he's yeah. just a man, then that really hits you a heart and you really want to lash out. So I'm just saying, don't do it. Don't don't step out and lash out. If you step out, just get out here and grind, do the work, and link in with faithful brothers and sisters. Which is 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 more confusion outside of these these situations and camps, you know. And there's only a handful, I believe, that preach the gospel, that 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 teach, you know, re, you know, um, repenting, like coming to Christ, repenting, you know, mm -hmm. teaching you need to change and, and really get your life together. Because a lot of these camps still cussing and fussing right. they still um i mean 20 wives you know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean there's a lot of carnality going on I'm just being real you feel me i love our people but i don't love them more than the most high right. and the most high finna judge you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. and um i just pray that y'all see the level for what it is link in with faithful brothers and sisters if it's in your heart too you got hate in your heart you feeling grudges toward your elders and leaders you didn't ate there they was your schoolmaster just respect it like that they were mm. the ma schoolmaster unto Christ. Now you're oh, supposed to be growing. Yeah. So if you ain't growing, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Probably was better off in the camp. You see what I'm yeah. saying? You know, um, but the most I pull is something together for us, y'all, in the spirit. Tamar play a major role. Asa was good family. They play a major role in this, you know, and us coming together, not unto foolishness, though. You understand that? But they stepping out here. Despite differences, you know what I'm saying? In love, I feel the love, you know, so that's what we got to do as men, you know? And I got to say it, men got to stop being so emotional, you I know it's hard, a lot of us been mama boys, we just being real, you got to keep it a hundred. Your majority of the brother is truth, they daddy one in their life, uh, real talk. So we don't know how to deal with stuff as men. So the true men of the most high, y'all need to stand up and show how to deal, how to deal with these things. Um, I'm learning, I got to teach my children, you understand? You know, men deal with things the way they deal with it. Women got an excuse. They can say, I'm the weaker vessel. <laughs> Feel me? Real talk. Yeah. So, men, we ain't got, we ain't got that. We, we can't just run and say, oh, I'm the, we can't say we the weaker vessel. We not. Mm -hmm. We got to be example to everybody. You know what I'm saying? If we call ourselves in Christ, we are examples. So, y'all make sure y'all a good example. Y'all ain't causing people to stumble. And to the brothers who outside of camps, outside of churches, you know, grind, let's get it. But you know, your mission ain't to pull people out of churches. Mm. You gotta understand if people are gonna be led out, they're gonna be led out in the spirit, not by you revealing something to them and then feeling them feeling emotional. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Feeling some type of way and yeah. leave, leave from that. Right. Because once they do that, they you accountable for them. What you gonna leave right. them? You right. gonna lead them? Right. And if you ain't living right, you understand, if you ain't a leader, you understand? Right. What are you doing? You understand? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? So, you know, shout out to all the brothers and sisters and the elect in Christ. Um, we're going to come together. I think we're going to be forced together. I think that's what's happening now in the spirit. Yeah. You know, um, I love y'all. Just hang in there. You feel me? And, and 
be loyal to the church or count you with. If you're going to be a part of it, just be loyal, yo. That only makes sense. When I was part of uh, GOCs, I was loyal. Didn't nobody have to tell me to go pass out nothing. You feel me? Didn't nobody have to ask me to do nothing. Like, shoot, that was in me to do. I mean, I burned CDs. I burned all their videos. I downloaded them all. Passed them out to my family. You know, um, my aunt received received a lot of truth before she passed. Mm. And she was happy to receive it. She was so happy. Um, just get out here and do the work, feel me? You know, and if y'all feel restricted, like they forcing you or hindering your ministry, you need to have that conversation with them directly. Don't go talking to other brothers feeling the same way mm. unless, you know, the elders shunning you and they continue to, you know. Or they, you, know, you feel like, well, I feel like they preventing me. And I'm sure somebody else feel that way. Y'all got to learn how to build and talk about these things in the spirit and address it like the scripture says, address it, you know. Um, with that, you know, all I can say is like, yo, hang in there, you know, and yield unto the most high and truly serve Christ. You know, do everything you do as unto the Lord and not unto men. Yeah. Feel me? So whatever you do, if your ministry is to do music, feel me? Do your music and do it as unto the Lord. Don't do it as unto men, because that means you want the glory from men. And if that man crosses you, you're really going to feel away. And that's happening. You know, so, so all y'all out here, man, let's get it. You know what I'm talking about? You know, in the camp, in the church or not, it's about sound doctrine. It's about preaching and bringing truth. And um, we got to live it first, yo. If you ain't living the joint, stop faking. And a lot of y'all from the street in the hood, y'all better stop perpetrating you understand <laughs> y'all a lot of y'all perpetrating you, one thing you can't fake is the holy spirit and when that's in you you got it and if it ain't in you everything you doing is 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 not genuine but i'm just praying that the elect you know truly come together through this and we can discern and see who's who's who through the spirit not us trusting in our own right. methods or means of figuring out who who but allowing the spirit to reveal it and that's revealed through time y'all so you got to be patient. You got to reprove one another in love. And if we ain't doing that, we ain't, you ain't gonna really know who's who or who's what, yeah. you know? And I'm gonna leave it there, feel me? We out here trying to live right, I got my sword, I might have the knife uh, And I got my brothers with me And we trying to see the K-I-N-G Oh, K-I-N-G